In this demonstration, you'll see how to configure a forest trust between two separate Active Directory forests on Windows Server 2019. So we start on SEA ADM1. And what we're doing here is from the administrative tools menu, we're opening up the DNS console. And in the DNS console, we're creating a conditional forwarder to the tailwindtraders.net domain that we wish to establish a forest trust with. So 172.16.10.145 is a DNS server that is able to resolve addresses in that domain. We click OK. The next thing we do is we jump across to a domain controller in the Tailwind Traders domain. We open up the DNS console on that domain controller and we configure a conditional forwarder to a domain controller in the contoso.com domain. So we enter contoso.com, we enter the IP address of a domain controller in that domain, which just happens to be SEADC1, and we click OK. So now domain controllers in both forests can actually resolve the address of the others. So still on the domain controller or tailwindtraders.net, we open up the Active Directory Domains and Trusts console. We edit the properties of the tailwindtraders.net domain. And on the Trusts tab, we click the New Trusts button. This opens a new Trusts wizard. We click Next. We enter the name of the forest that we wish to configure a trust for. In this case, contoso.com is the root domain of the contoso.com forest. We click Next. Here we configure what type of trust that we wish to create. We want to create a forest trust, which means that all domains in one forest will trust all domains in the other forest. We click Next. We select the direction of this trust. Now in this case, we wish to configure a bi-directional two-way trust. So we select two-way and we click Next. In terms of sides of trust, we are going to create the trust for both sides from this wizard. If we didn't have the credentials, in this case of the contoso.com domain administrator, as well as the tailwindtraders.net domain administrator, we would need to only do it for this domain but we have both sets of credentials, so we can create both sides of the trust using this wizard. We click Next. We provide the contoso.com administrator credentials. So we contoso slash administrator, and we put in the password, and then we click Next. So now we are configuring the outgoing trust authentication for the local forest. So what we have the option of doing is choosing forest-wide authentication or selective authentication. In this case, we're choosing forest-wide authentication, which means that Windows will now authenticate all users from the contoso.com forest for all resources in the local tailwindtraders.net forest. We click Next. We also have the same option configuring the trust in the other direction. We're choosing again forest-wide authentication, and when we do this, this will allow users from the tailwindtraders.net forest to access resources in the contoso.com forest. We click Next. We verify all of our settings. The trust creation is now complete. We click Next. We confirm the outgoing trust. We click Next. We confirm the ingoing trust. We click Next. It uses the appropriate credentials we've already entered. We click Finish and the forest trust is now created. In this demonstration, you saw how to configure a bi-directional forest trust between two active directory forests in Windows Server 2019.